Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, we got some mail, but then we're getting into some construction action. It's been a good couple days since I've last played, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna catch up with everything. We got Elephant Slide. Oh yeah, that'll be for my park. Oh, I'm so excited for that. We got the KK Fair song. We have Nook Shopping Summer Solstice Crown. Oh yeah, we bought the Summer and Winter Solstice. Awesome. So I haven't done too much research in it, but I, I did some quick reading, and I think Summer and Winter Solstice is the period in time when the southern and the northern hemispheres become both summer and winter, sort of that same period of time. I don't know, maybe I'm misunderstanding it, I don't really know. It seems to be more of a European thing. Uh, question for you, Zebra. You know the way the sun goes away and everything gets real dark and boring? Well, how about if everything didn't get real dark and boring? Think about it. <laughs> Good night, Stu. <laughs> oh, that was still. I don't know why I was reading that like it wasn't. Um, cool. Uh, I, I guess, yeah. What if what if it didn't become nighttime? That would be a very different world, wouldn't it? Um, but we got a present from him. Folding floor lamp. Oh wow, that's so nice. Thank you, Stu. Really nice gift. We also got the winter solstice sweater, uh, the winter or the summer solstice crown, uh, the KK fair, and then finally the elephant slide, which we'll put by the park right now. Because um, if not, I'll forget. But yeah, here is our uh, summer solstice stuff and winter solstice stuff. Pretty cool. So yeah, I would love to hear what part of the world do you live in is it becoming summer or winter for you? Very cool to hear that kind of thing. Um, but for right now, we will definitely go and put that elephant slide up because we don't have a slide in our park, but now we will. It's gonna be great. I don't really have too much of an idea of where I wanna put it, so I'm just gonna put it right here for right now. Um, place item. Let's turn that a little bit so that's easier to see. Um, okay, it's being a little picky with me. Oh no, hold on. <laughs> Perfect, okay, so now I can pull it over that way. That's good enough for now. We'll, we'll tweak everything eventually, uh, but for right now that's fine with me. And yeah, we're just gonna be running around getting things done in today's episode, doing a lot of construction. We unlocked that stuff last episode, but first I feel like it might be pretty um, good idea to just run around and get our daily stuff done, lots of fruit and flowers to collect, so. Might as well get started with that for today. Of course, we're still trying to save up money to pay off our house loan. I think we still have to finish this loan and then pay off another one. I believe there's going to be a basement and an upper level, if I remember correctly from the other Animal Crossing games. But I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so there's still so much to do in the game. We'll be chipping away at it today and in upcoming episodes. And hopefully by the end of today's episode, I wanna scan in an amiibo card because I think that you can scan them in and then they'll show up the next day. Um, I wanna start doing that every couple episodes, just scanning in amiibo cards so that we can get new villagers and just talk to them and see how they are. That's gonna be cool. Of course, we won't be asking them to move in. I'm pretty happy with what we currently have going on. Um, but yeah, for right now, we are going to get our shovel and dig this out. There we go, we get ourselves a fossil. So there we go. And we'll also shake this orange tree a little bit. But yeah, I'm guessing that, yeah, since it's been a good couple of days, there should be six fossils laying around, so we'll have to look around for that. Uh, but yeah, there'll be a lot to get to. We should also check our Nook Miles Plus um, stuff. So we got chop wood, capture a memory, we can do that, no problem. Complete DIY projects, hitting the rock, catch an olive flounder. Um, there we go. Just to get that quickly out of the way, because we never know what might take its place. Maybe something I can also multitask with. Uh, yeah, it is going to be getting fossils assessed, so definitely glad I can just work on that now. But let's go ahead and get our shovel out because there's already a, uh, a rock over this way. And then we got a ton of fruit to get, along with it, some wood. So this is just a normal rock, but it could have been more, could have been less, you know? Yeah, I'm just very excited to get back to it today. Um, excited to make some progress, try to figure out construction a bit. I don't know how much like construction will actually be getting done, but I know that I wanna sort of tinker with it and figure out all the tools and just sort of go with that, you know? Anyways, looks like we did get that rock mission done, so that'll be more double miles for us, 200 of them. And what do we get in that place? Chopping down trees. Okay, so I think I might chop down this tree because once it produces money, it doesn't really produce anything more. So, grab these for now, and then I'll hit it another couple of times. There we go. So that should be the other Nook Miles, and we're, we're zooming through them already, isn't that good? Uh, right there, 200 miles, very nice. Oh, 10 to flowers, we'll do that later. Uh, but for right now, let me switch over to my stone axe. I have a couple of these right now, so shouldn't have to worry about um, durability or anything like that. Just be able to replace them right away if that happens. Oh wait, oh, oh. 
There we go. And there's all of our wood chopped. But we just gotta keep collecting the fruit. <laughs> or at least right now, knocking it down. We'll collect it in a minute. There we go. So yeah, we're just gonna grab all of this, and just like normal, this should be a good 30 to 40,000 bells, like all of the fruit and everything, so that'll be cool. And then on top of that, any duplicate fossils, any of the flowers, we should be making some good cash today. That's just sort of how it works um, during these days, so that's good. Anyways, just gonna grab as much as I can. Thank you very much. Got some more stuff over this way too. Yeah, we're still looking for those other fruits. I definitely wanna to go to different islands soon and just sort of, you know, search for them. Hopefully we can find them. But I have a, nook, a lot of Nook Miles to spend, especially on the new construction upgrades, because those are pretty expensive. I think they're like 6,000 each, so definitely going to be getting all of those, but it just might take me some time. I think that I could get them all today. It depends. It might, I might end up using the majority of my Nook Miles, which is almost 60,000 of them, which is why it's good to gather more of them every episode, because you never know when you might... <laughs> Need more, but there we go. I think that's all the fruit I can find, at least for this corner of the island. Uh, we are going to claim our wood right there, our, our wood nook miles. It's 300 extra. Uh, redeem nook miles with you soon. Uh, well, hopefully we'll be able to catch an all flounder sooner or later, but probably not now. And how's our inventory looking? It is actually filling up quite a lot, so I might go to this other little cherry patch we have, grab some more stuff there, and then we will probably just start selling to Timmy and Tommy. We'll have to run around and grab the flowers soon too, but not as worried about that for the moment. Oh, there is another fossil spot over there. Like I said, okay, hold on. <laughs> like I said, that'll probably be um, fossil number two of six in total, because whenever we skip a few days, there's usually you know six of them instead of four. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. But yeah, I'm just so excited to check out the construction and really be able to spruce up our town a little bit. Um, apparently it is, 50,000 bells to move any building that's not your own house, which is incredibly expensive. I don't know why they made it that pricey because, you know, a lot of the time you just don't have the resources to set up the houses and stuff. You're sitting on an orange. Be careful, Rolf. How are you doing, by the way? I felt it felt like coming out and soaking in. It in. Seemed as good as a spot of any, Rolf. Right on top of an orange. Ain't you lively, see for me? I'm just giving the old bones a rest. I don't know how old Rolf is supposed to be, but he talks a lot like he's an older fellow. Something up? What's the latest? You're all summery like in your pocket, T. Let's try to beat this dad burn heat. Dad burn heat. That's a way to put it I've never heard before. Okay, so we still have some room in our inventory for some more oranges and stuff. That's good. What do we got down this way? Not too much. We'll run, we'll do a bit of a shell run and flowers and stuff. Um, next time we put our inventory, there's a lot of people. I should probably be talking to them. Um, hi, Stu. Thank you for the letter and for the lamp. I really appreciate it. Can you guess what I'm doing? I am. <laughs> I'm sitting. Uh, I think we've heard you say that before. Okay. Oh, and also, Leaf is here. <laughs> this is super comfy, Maru. I'm so sleepy. Anyway, what's going on with you? Let's chat. My fleece PJs is pretty slick, huh? A nice lady came by. She said was she was from a user research firm. I, I don't know what that is, but she told me audience interest in my character improved by 12% with this outfit. Then she left. I got no idea what any of that was about, but I do look darn good. I don't know what that's about either. I have no clue. Uh, anyways. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I was just getting some power meditation. Oh, he was going, oh. I didn't know what he was trying to do. Sorry, I'm on my break. I want to start talking to him again. All right, you got my attention. What's up, Alpha? Hey, now that I think about it, isn't Sally's birthday coming up? Yeah, it's on the 19th of this month. It's been on my calendar for ages. Didn't she just move in? <laughs> Have you known her before that? Yeah, it looks like the bulletin board has something in it. Yo, Zebra, how you doing, kidders? Life here's pretty rad, kidders. I mean, it's not perfect, but what is? Yeah, I get what you, what you mean. Hello. Ooh. Just taking a breather. Everybody's sitting around today. Oh, see, he does the same thing. <laughs> They're the same personality type. I love his little yellow paws on the bottom of his feet. All right, you got my attention. What's up precisely? 
I should really be getting to know people here a little better, starting with you. Am I right or am I right? I am right. Let's see, Zebra. Where should we begin? Okay, favorite movie genre, go. I don't watch too many movies. Uh, romance, I don't even know what a bio, a biopic, so I'm guessing like biography. Um, horror, something else, I don't watch movies. I mean, I do watch movies, but usually just as an excuse to hang out with people I, I enjoy hanging out with, you know? So, I don't really, if I, if I wasn't doing that, I probably wouldn't really watch movies too much. I'm, I'm just gonna say I don't watch movies. Oh, then maybe you're the type of person who prefers the theater of life over theatrical releases. That's not a bad thing. You are the star of your own story, after all. I, I get that, I like that idea. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll chat with you one more time, I'm trying to hit this tree. I love what they've done with, with this stone. Just think of the potential. What stone? Oh, I'm guessing like the, fl the, the bricks over here? Uh, hi, I'm a dancer and this is my canvas. What do you mean dancers don't use canvas? I'm a dancer painter. Okay, I like his spirit. <laughs> they just don't mind when an orange falls on them. Okay, so we'll go ahead and grab that orange, and then we are going to run over to this bulletin board and check that out. We'll talk to Leaf Scene, we have a ton of stuff um, when it comes to like weeds and stuff. Hey everyone, June 19th is Sally's birthday. This special day only comes once a year, so get into a party mood. I miss Stu's birthday, I can't miss Sally's. So yeah, the first time we're having a person with a birthday in a while, to be honest with you, so that's pretty cool. Did I never pick up that other fossil back there? I don't think I did, so I need to go and do that. Um, let's switch over to our shovel for now. Boop, got it. And there we go. Dug up a fossil. How are we doing with inventory slots? We still have enough room for more, so we should keep getting more. Yeah, what happened to that one? I think I, didn't I skip over something? Because we only have two fossils right now. I'm pretty sure I mentioned seeing a fossil. I don't know. Oh, there it is, there it is. Perfect. So here's three, looking for three more. We can do that, no problem. Oh, here we go, got another money tree spot too. Might as well take my opportunity while I have it. Um, burying hole. Boom. I need to dig these up, because these are just taking up space. They're not looking so pretty, just a bunch of stumps around here. There we go, and got it. Okay, so a couple more trees for us over this way that I wanna knock down, get some oranges out of. Right there, and right here. So I'm not sure how our inventory is doing after all of that. I think we have enough to maybe grab the pears and oranges that are on the bottom corner of this island, but I don't think quite enough for the coconut. So we'll try it, we'll see what ends up happening. Uh. Hmm, there are the pears. And then like I said, we'll, we'll get some more of the fruit on the other sides of the island. Uh, we should be able to make some good turnouts with everything in terms of cash. We haven't even found the money rock yet, so that'll be another big thing. I don't know how much money we have right now. I think only, you know, less than like 10,000, because 10, we started today's episode at uh, five. So, <laughs> Stu's sitting against another tree now. He's so quick with that. He's gonna try to sit next to every tree on the island by the time he's done. See, that was pretty good. Well, actually, no, we have enough for the coconuts. Then let's grab ourselves some coconuts, and there's another fossil spot. I always do that with the same castle, don't I? Um, place item. Good enough for now. Excuse me, Stu. Excuse me. <laughs> there we go. So grab that coconut. There we go, just trying to be very careful that I don't grab anything I'm not supposed to. And then let's also get to that fossil spot. That'll probably be the last thing we do until we, uh... Wait, there was a, yeah, okay, I was gonna say, Stu's blocking it again, excuse me, Stu, I'm sorry, but... There we go. Oh, we have enough for more oranges. <laughs> I'm gonna take my opportunity while I have it. There we go. Oh, I think I hear, maybe I hear a, a, a balloon? Yes, I do, it's way over there. Okay. And let's grab that. What is this gonna be then? Very curious. It is a throwback wall clock, interesting, okay. I'll keep that. Um, and I think that's about all I can hold, because if I try to get these oranges, I'm not gonna be able to grab all of them. There'll be one left over on the ground. So, oh, and I did miss another fossil spot here. 
Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. This will be our fifth one. We're just looking for one more after that. Gotcha. So we'll see how much money we make with all this. It should be a good amount, so happy about that. Oh, a drum kit. Hello, hello. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. Thank you for welcoming me. Uh, so, I wanna sell. I have a bunch of fruit, so yeah. Um, Oranges, oranges, cherries, pears, cherries. Honestly, it's not as much as I was expecting, but it's still a good chunk. There we go. Uh, Sure, here you go. 31,000 bells already, that's still great. 31,000 bells right there. We still have more fruit to sell. We're gonna sell like repeat fossils, I'm sure. Um, a gas canister, plastic canister. Typically used to hold gasoline. Um, don't need it. And I definitely know we've seen this little bobblehead lion thing, tiger. Um, but I want this drum kit. Drum set, how much is it? Oh, pretty affordable too, I'll buy it. Awesome. We'll need a little stool for that. Is this a freezer, I think? Yeah, we've seen this before, right? Freezer, uh, I'll pass, and then, is this just a table with a cloth over it? Table with cloth. 5,100 pounds. I think I don't need that. I mean, I don't know, maybe it'd be nice for the kitchen. I don't know. It just doesn't have much personality, you know? Um, I'll take it past for now. But, hopefully we'll see more t tables that we can take advantage of at some point. For right now though, we have enough inventory space to uh, get more fruit and fossils and stuff, so we might as well do that. And if we ever swing by our house again, maybe I should stash some stuff away. Might be a good idea. But I will get the ax back out. And now we are just looking for um, fruit trees. I definitely need to run around and hit some more rocks, so I guess I should get started with that too. Where's my shovel? There it is. See so it back over this way then. Do bit of that. Until I find the money rock at the least. I don't know if I'll hit every rock after that. I just don't need some of these materials. I have so many of them. It's a little crazy. Okay, I guess I didn't do that very well. Weird. Okay, so let's try this rock instead. Maybe this one will go a little bit better. Maybe not. We'll find out. It is just another normal rock. But hey, maybe we'll find a gold nugget out of this one. Haven't done that yet today. That's really the only thing I'm looking for beyond uh, money is gold nuggets from time to time, which we sometimes get. We get them every couple of days at the least, so that's pretty good. It'll slowly stack up. And then on this side we have another one, so he's against another tree now. Stu, I'm telling you, he is all over the trees today. Lots of iron nuggets with this one. Oh, maybe one more? Nope, just another rock. Okay, so four of them though is still pretty good. So we'll grab all of these. And then we're gonna go over this way. There's still more rocks to get plenty of fruit as well. But we'll do the rock first, and just like right here. Oh, some weeds to grab. Get oh, Celia, how are you doing? Ah, no, that's not what I wanted. How are you doing? Do you know about Glee? It's one of my favorite reactions, Zebra. I don't know about Glee. Watch this. So I just discovered a great rainbow sherbet recipe. That's a good way to show everyone that your heart is full of glee. Yeah, okay, we learned a new gesture. I learned the glee reaction. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Thank you so much, you're the best. No, I just wanna talk to you. I'm sorry. Need something, feathers? Uh, Do you want this? What can I give her? I can give her some oranges. Hey, I know it's not much, but it's something. Oh, this is great, it's an orange. Thanks, this is a thoughtful of you. And I'll talk to you one more time. Uh, how can I help you, Feathers? What's the latest? Just recently, Apple was at my house for lunch and she left something behind. Didn't, didn't she just have to give something back to you? No, no, Gigi had to give something back to Apple. I wanna get this back to her, but I keep forgetting and now I, I can't return it, and, and I can't return it just now. Would you mind returning this before I forget I have it again? Sure. Everybody keeps on forgetting to give Apple or stuff back. <laughs> Thanks, that's one less thing for me to worry about. Here you go. I know it's, this is a lot to ask, but could you deliver today, Feathers? Yep, I can, She's, she lives right over there. It's not that difficult for me to do. Um, anyways, we are going to, you know, collect all this. 
Start getting some more fruit. Look for that last fossil spot as well. I never hit this. What is, she's like very, oh, she's exercising. I thought she was like very intense, intensely looking at me. Oh, here we go, money rock. Just gonna keep hitting this as much as I can. Two more, come on. Yeah, awesome. So that's gonna get us over 50,000, nice. How much farther than that? There's 51, 53,300, 53, that's really good. So yeah, happy about that for sure. Also gonna get this. But yeah, overall we're doing really good with cash so far today. Uh, I've made a lot of money and we have lots more money to make. Here's our message in a bottle. Um, so we'll just read that really quickly so it's not taking up inventory space. Don't open that. I just saw a present, I was like, ooh, present. To someone on an island out there, I found this DIY recipe for, written in my dream journal this morning. I don't remember writing it down. This seemed like a good way of passing along my recipe idea. I'd love for you to try it out. Best wishes, Kiki. Sure. Log, log, extra long sofa. Well, that sounds fancy. Huh, okay, sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for an extra long sofa. Anyways, we're gonna keep moving over this way then. Um, not only will there be a couple of orange trees that here, hit here, but this is where Apple lives in this corner, so we should be able to talk to her and maybe give her her thing back. That'd be good. Yep, got more oranges. I don't see too many other orange trees. I think there's one on this side. Yep, and then we're good. Maybe before we go into the upper levels of things, I might swing by my house and put some stuff away because I definitely have the a uh, couple of things that need to go into storage. But yeah, let's talk to Apple and see how she's doing. Oh, she's crafting. Hello. Oh my gosh, I have such good taste. I'm a DIY trendsetter, don't you think so, Zebra? What are you making? <clears throat> well, I'm making a leaf mask. I dreamt the idea when I fell asleep watching Mag Maglevs in Love. It's about trains in love. One of them. Hang on, not important. It doesn't matter if Maglev Mike took the, the relationship off the rails because I'm building a thing. Hey Zebra, do you want to know how to make a leaf mask too? Yes, please. I'm going to be the first pop star slash fashion designer slash DIY guru. So I write down all my recipes. Here you go. Sure, thank you. Oh my gosh, Sheikers, it's so way easy. You'll slap one together in no time, Zebra. Let's keep talking though. Um. Delivery time. Hey, what's up? I have this for you. Something I forgot? It's my fishing vest. Yes, so you had it. So you had it, Celia. Ha, I so thought I lost it. Thanks for going out of your way to bring me this zebra. It was so cool of you. Hey, you know what? I have something for you as a thank you. A nice hat. A bicycle helmet. It's something I picked out for myself just for you, Cheekers. Cool, so it looks like we've got ourselves a little bike bike helmet. Oh, fancy orange color as well. Don't think I'll be wearing that too often. It'd be cool if we could actually ride a bike or our electric scooter that we got. I wish we could ride those things around. That'd be a lot of fun. Anyways, uh, that was pretty good. Like I said, I'm gonna run back to our house now and put some stuff into storage. Uh, just because I know we have a lot of stuff in our inventory that can go into storage, we might as well take the opportunity. And then we'll go to the upper levels of the island, start exploring those a little bit. I am sure there is stuff we can get there. Uh, we're still looking for one last fossil. Uh, we have to talk to a couple more people, I think. Well, actually, yes, yeah, Sally. We haven't talked to Sally yet today, so that would be nice to do. But for right now, um, put the clumps of weeds away and all the different clothes and stuff. I definitely need to find out where I wanna put that floor lamp. Oh, the drum set we already know, so we'll keep that for now. Uh, iron nuggets, rocks and stuff. We got 19 rocks in that short amount of time, but that's crazy. Lots of uh, wood as well, which is good. And I definitely need to learn this leaf mask recipe she just gave me. Okay, sweet, I want to do a recipe for blah, 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 we know. Uh, and throwback wall clock. What does this look like? Because I have a wall clock right over there now. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna leave that there for now. I don't wanna bother taking it down. I don't know if I wanna keep that one. What is it a throwback to? Is that supposed to be something I should recognize? I don't know. Yeah, we definitely need to sort of reorder some stuff around here. Because I don't exactly know where I wanna fit everything. But for right now, 
Place this drum set right there. Yeah, <laughs> we're jamming out. <laughs> so I'll try to start a new song. Um, which should be right here. Wait, I don't have any songs to register? Okay, so I guess KK Fair is a repeat. Whoops. Uh, where is it? Oh, uh, yeah, I remember this now. Okay, well, lesson learned. We'll give this to somebody or sell it or something. Uh, but in the meantime, now that our inventory is a whole lot more clear, I'm going to just head back out, get some more stuff done. Like I said, we're gonna go to the upper levels now, look around that area, talk to Sally. Maybe we'll give her the music. She can have some listening music while she's reading. That would be cool. Okay, so yeah, let's give that a go. Up and over this way. I want to just use the ladder, just as sort of uh, as a bit of a shortcut. Oh, and I see her over there. Hi, Sally, I was just thinking of you. How are you doing? So happy to see you, Nutmeg. Uh, I wanna chat. I'm glad that for the weather like this, that's perfect for air drying my laundry. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, can I give you anything? Everything okay, Nutmeg? I guess I can't. Let's talk. Planning a climb, Nutmeg? Always good to be prepared. What's that? Uh. I've been walking around with this same song stuck in my head since yesterday. It's awful, Nutmeg. Wait, it's gone. Seeing you must have broken the curse. I'm free. <laughs> I'm glad I could help. So I guess I can't give her any new music to get her head, to get stuck in her head. We also need to collect everything up there. I'll be doing that soon, definitely today. Um, we already got the money rock, so I might not worry about this too much, but just looking around for potential fossil spots. We're not gonna be working on that just yet. Still paying off my loan. But any weeds we can collect, I wanna take that opportunity since Leaf is here. Uh, anything else over here? Oh, 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 I see one more. There we go. So yeah, with that being figured out, still no fossil spot, but we're gonna find it. Aha, here it is. Okay, so we have found all the fossil spots um, around, so we might as well like Walk our way back over to the museum. Maybe we could do it uh, traveling on the beach, grab some extra shells since we haven't really done that today. There is still so much we can do then, <laughs> of course. And I still haven't done any of the construction work I wanted to do today. So like, there's still so much, indeed. That's sort of the fun thing about this game is that there's always so much to do. Let's grab some of this. Is there any more fossils around here? I'm not quite sure. There we go. Got some coral. There's actually quite a lot of fossils around, or not fossils, shells. I've been calling them fossils, because I'm silly. Um, but yeah, that's still pretty good to get and figure out and stuff. But this definitely should help us a lot with putting away money to pay off our next home loan. Because I, I like this sort of rhythm I got with it where I'm juggling between paying off a home loan, paying off, um, you know, a, a, a town addition. Last time it was a bridge, this time it's an incline. So yeah, hopefully if we keep juggling that kind of thing, we should be fine. It's gonna be a lot more difficult moving forward because of the fact that the loans keep on getting more and more expensive. Okay. Do I hear? I do. Aha, over this way. Let's be careful not to hit it while it's over the water. Oh my. Yeah, I was just gonna let it keep going there. And it's good. So what did we get here? Second uh, present we're getting out of the sky today. Starry Sands Flooring. Sure, why not? Nice. Okay, so with that being done, let's move back over this way and talk to Blathers for today. Haven't done that yet, so that should be good. Yeah, things are going pretty well. Hello, Blathers. Woohoo! So I have six fossils for you. I really hope you enjoy them, uh, and I hope that they're new. Perfect. Here you go. More than one I see, let's take a closer look. I found some of this, I got part of a collection, awesome. So we'll go ahead and donate that. On top of that, um, we should be getting a Nook Miles done for um, assessing three fossils. We assess twice that much, you think we'd get twice as many miles, but no. Uh, so just, oh, it's two of them. So we get the Milo, Kunmingia, and the Diplotail. Cool. Uh, so we'll donate both of those. 
and we'll sell the other four. So that's gonna be it for right now. I'm so glad that we're making progress with everything now. Jolly good, please enjoy the rest of your visit. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out our Nook Miles. I wonder if he'll tell us when everything is donated. I'd imagine he would, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, go to the Nook Miles and get fossils assess, get 150 of them. Uh, so catch a tiger beetle. We'll try for that one, but for right now, this is actually a really easy one we can do, is that we can pull out our elephant watering can and start watering some flowers real quick. There's three of them. Here's another two. Got a couple over this way as well. There we go, and that's gonna be it. Awesome. So, let us get our stuff back out. And sell hot item for a fortune. We might do that, but I'm definitely gonna be selling some stuff now. But oh, that's a violin beetle. I was like, is that a tiger beetle? Not quite. I don't need to water their, their front porch. <laughs> I just need to go in. Yeah, I'm pretty glad with all the progress so far today. We're hopefully about to make a lot more once we start construction. Uh, I wanna sell. So I am selling, um, I guess I'll sell KK Fair. It's a shame that I even bought it in the first place then, but live and learn. There's that, and then we gotta get all of our weeds and sell those to leaf. Uh, 20,160 bells, very cool. So we're up to 74,000, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go back home now and get all of the weeds that I can possibly find, and then we'll just sell those to Leaf too. Okay, so I have, I think about 500 clumps of weeds, which is quite a lot. Oh, hey, Zebra, isn't this the most perfect day to shop for flowers? I agree, and shrubs too. You're so lucky, because today I'm selling the beloved hydrangea, and it's currently in season, so you can enjoy those magical blossoms as soon as you plant this little friend. All right then, so right now, let's talk weeds. If you got weeds, I'm buying 28 bells a clump. 518 clumps, so that's 10,360 bells. Um, we haven't been super serious about collecting them, so that's still a pretty good return for our efforts, if you ask me. Um, there we go. It's an extra 10K right there. And we are going to be all finished up with that. Might as well go into the town center while we're so close to it. Got a couple things to do in here. We have to um, check the little recycling bin. I want to check out whatever daily offerings are. Ooh. Free iron nuggets, I like it. So, yeah, we have to reset our daily bonus miles, but that's not too big of a deal. So this is where we really gotta get into some things. We need to buy a lot of um, stuff, a lot of stuff. Um, first, is there any new fencing? I doubt it. Yep, okay, so I wanted to get all of this. As you can see, these are all different permits that you can get for different construction things. Um, so we have waterscaping, cliff construction, arched tile path, brick path, dark dirt path, sand path, stone path, terracotta tile, wooden path, um, custom design path. Oh wow, so you can make basically anything. I wanna get all these. It looks like the total cost for this will be 6, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28.3, so yeah, 28,300 bells for everything. Uh, not bells, but uh, miles. I can afford it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy all these right now. Um, and I'll be back once we, we got all those add-ons. Okay, that took me longer than I thought it would because you have to go in and buy each one and then they touch the phone to the thing and they do the little dance every single time. So it just, it takes a while. Um, so I'm glad that I just sort of did that silently so that you guys don't have to suffer through it. <laughs> there we go. Um, so there we go, we spent a bunch of Nook Miles, or I think about half of what we had, maybe a little bit more than that even, or just about. Um, and yeah, because of that, we could redeem some Nook Miles. Very cool. Um, catchfish we'll be doing sooner or later. Uh, but for right now, I don't know if there's anything else in the other parts that we need to check out, but I might as well take a look. So Nook Shopping, anything here for our daily selections, for our special goods. Um, not really looking like it, but KK Area, Aria, something like that. Pretty sure we don't have this one for real. So definitely gonna get that. Um, on top of that, is there anything I wanna put away in the ABD? I'm not sure. I did wanna invite an amiibo through the camper. I might do that later today. 
because I've never done that before. Um, but I don't know if that's like they immediately show up or if they show up the next day. Because I'm hoping they'll show up the next day because, you know, I already have enough going on in today's episode. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but for right now, I want to go over to the Able Sisters and do some stuff there. And then after that, we should be good to just stash away whatever extra bells we have. Um, we should be able to stash away whatever extra bells we have so that we can just focus on the construction for the rest of today. But it looks like Stu's in here. We haven't talked to Stu today, so let's go ahead and chat with him real quick. Hey, buddy. I don't think I've ever seen some yacht shorts that fit my mighty leg, Squirt. <laughs> you're right, those don't, those don't look like they'd fit you. <laughs> but that's not a bad thing. It's just because you're, you're very muscly. Anyways, let's go ahead and just go into the uh, fitting room and see everything from there. Uh, so yeah, we have a bold Aloha shirt. Wow, seasonal. Got the camo tees, which actually don't look too bad in all sorts of different colors. Um, a doctor's coat. Um, front tie button down shirt. I guess it's it's buttoned down, also has a little front tie. Um, puffy sleeve blouse. Oh, it's a relay tank and with each color is a different number. Fancy. Um, lace shorts. Fancy as well. Lemon skirt in different colors. Uh, sailor skirt. Yacht shorts, we were just talking about these. Oh, they really do have little yachts on them. Um, simple dots dress, uh, different colors for those. Zap suit, <laughs> interesting, I guess it's supposed to be like a Power Ranger. Uh, a fedora, plenty of different colors for those. Um, paper boy cap, <laughs> I like it. Uh, ribboned straw hat, oh wow, that is a lot smaller than I expected. Uh, and then we got the bunny nose, which I think was here yesterday. Round tinted shades. Well, those aren't too bad. Hmm. Okay, I'll keep those in mind. Um, crocheted socks. Geometric print socks. Uh, boots. High-tech sneakers. Moccasins. Ribbon sandals. And that's it. Weird selection so far today. Um, nothing must have for me. But over this way... Yeah, you can see the, these are some of the uh, displayed costumes. Pretty cool, not my style, that's okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm pretty specific with what I like to wear in this game so far. And I'll pick it, you know, if I see those kind of things, I'll pick them out for sure, but I don't mind skipping out on stuff. But it's always good to check out the selection and everything. So yeah, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to put some money away, just so that don't have to worry about it for, us, for the rest of today. Because I don't think we'll have to use any of our tools either. I think we should just be good with, you know, Doing everything the way we do it. Uh, with the construction and stuff. But uh, deposit. So I'm just going to put away 76,420 bells so that we have 5,000 left over. So we're more than halfway there now. Closing in on that quite a lot. Hopefully this upcoming Sunday I can... Um, what is it called? I can, at the least, buy more turnips. I didn't last time because they were a little too pricey for me. Maybe they'll go down a little bit. I should probably check with Timmy and Tommy how much they are this w today, um, just so I can get an idea of that. But then we're definitely gonna do some construction. I'm at least gonna tinker with things today and sort of figure out how construction works. I don't know how much progress we'll make with construction work, but that's just sort of the whole idea. Hi, Gigi, I haven't talked to you today either. Why, Zebra, what a delightful coincidence running into you here, Rebette. Let's chat. Do you know what I'm doing? Why, I'm shopping for a little reward for myself. I think I deserve it. You do. Why, is there something I can help you with? Are you here to buy a present? I just love thinking about a friend and finding them the perfect gift for them. Oh, Zebra, I do hope presents you choose for your friend bring them joy. Aw, oh, thank you. <laughs> she says sweet. Zebra, welcome. Um, so, let's check out our turnip prices. 75 bells per turnip. So that's where it's just like they were, it was like a hundred and something bells um, per turnip to purchase. Like we would have, chances are pretty high we would have lost money. I'm sure there would have been one day out of the week where there would have been decent prices, but I'm looking for a bigger gap than that. So I'm just gonna save my money for now until they're like under 100. My goal is always one under 100, I think. But anyways, with all that figured out, let's start figuring out construction a little bit. So if we go over to the Island Designer app, and notification, waterscaping and cliff construction permits added. Press the plus button to switch between options. Check the manual in the app for more information. We're gonna get really in depth with figuring this out today. Should I start up the Island Designer app and do some construction work? Uh, start construction, request cleanup, check the manual, which I read up on. So yeah, there's like a basic user guide. I don't know if I need to worry about too much of this. I think I can just learn by doing. Um, but if I find myself with any questions, I'll try to figure it out. 
through the, the manual. Getting permission for construction. The Island Designer app is ready. Remember to wear a helmet during construction and work safely. Yeah, <laughs> look at us. Cool professional construction workers. Um, so yeah, what we can do is we can look at our different options. Um, this is for the dirt path. We can also choose grass if we wanted to sort of clean some things up. Um, there's stone path, brick, dark dirt, dirt path, um, custom, wooden path, terracotta tiles, sand path, and arched tile path. So lots of cool different ideas we can do with this one. We can also do some waterscaping and some cliff construction, which is where things get really exciting. Um, I'm thinking that for right now, we are just going to do a nice little, um, I guess like a brick path would be cool. Um, and what I wanna do with that is just sort of leave that around some spots, you know? Um, as you can see, we can sort of make like a continuation. The only problem is it's not so pretty here. And I wish it was like, can we change this? No, okay. Um, that's sort of a shame, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Maybe that's why it'd be better for dirt paths than this, but I don't know. But right now we'll keep it with brick and it shows you that some trees gotta go. I'm so sorry, Pashmina. You're not gonna appreciate this. Um, watch out, oh no! I didn't mean to make it fall on you. She's not even gonna have a stump to sit against. She still just sits there though. Fascinating. Does she even realize? Come back for more, huh? Must be my wooden personality. How have you been? Had any good meals lately? Uh, every day. Rock on. So many folks just eat because they gotta and don't take the time to make something good. When you know you've got something to look forward to for dinner, it helps the whole day go by faster. And listen, if you if you, you like good food, you gotta try my cooking sometime. I'll serve up a meal you'll never forget. I would love to. Um. Anyways, let's switch back to our construction now. Yeah, the brick path. And I don't know exactly how I wanna lay everything out, but I just, I want to just set up some order. I feel like that's sort of the problem is that I sort of just wing it sometimes, you know what I mean? And while that can be great, oh wow, we can make it fancy. We can even make it curved. Um, while that can be great some of the time, uh, I think that having, oh my gosh, I keep doing it. <laughs> having some good order to everything can also make it more clear on how I want to tackle some projects. So that's what I'm gonna work on for right now. All right, Pashmina. I might have, <laughs> the only thing bugging me is you're sort of sitting in the way. Uh, well, hopefully we can figure that out later. Uh, for right now though, if this seems, is this gonna be a little bit over? I mean, I suppose. But there's no way it's not going to be, is the thing. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> but yeah, this is like, you know, something that will take up a lot of our time is just doing construction work and placing things in the wrong spot constantly. My gosh, uh, it's not me, I promise. It's, just, it's not very precise control sometimes with this game. We've experienced this for a while now. So I probably, yeah, would wanna do this side too. I don't know why I haven't it to begin with. Oh man. Uh, there we go. It's so imprecise, I swear. It's it, This has been an issue with the game I've had the entire time. But you know, it's just a little weird. I'm wondering if these pathways are a little too thick, but I feel like this will be really nice over time. Um, I feel like we could work with this in a way that'd be nice if we do three wide. But I'm hoping I can just build this out towards, you know, um, just different spots around the town. Oh, so I can do like under a little bit. That's cool. Come on, stop it. <laughs> there we go. Um, so we'll switch back over to our tools to get rid of this tree. And like, this is very time consuming stuff, but I think it's worthwhile. Cause it gives a nice shape and like guidance to our town that makes it easier to figure out, you know? And then we can set up appropriate fencing and it makes it very clear and very pretty what we can do, how we can set it up, all that kind of stuff. So that's always cool. So back to this. We are going to uh, build it all the way up to her entrance. There we go. And then we will turn it, you know, the other direction. For right now, I think my goal would just be to connect all of the establishments, if you know what I mean. Um, I know I could like work on connecting all of the houses and stuff, but I feel like that's a little too complicated right now, and I definitely need to do some landscaping there before I figure that out, which we'll be doing a little bit in later in today's episode. 
So can I do three wide here? Would that work? It will. It's funny how that all sort of came together quite well then. That's not what I wanted, but will it just recombine properly? Yes, it will, okay. So I don't have to worry about it as much as I was. Should I make this curved then? I guess so. Should I make this curved? I don't think it works that way. That is a little bit of a shame. You can't make like a an inside curve. At least as far as I can tell. Um, I mean, I guess I could try, but no, it's not gonna work that way, is it? Yeah, the best you can do is that, which is not what I want. Um, maybe, maybe I'll come back to that idea. Uh, for right now though, we're just gonna keep building out. And I think that things are symmetrical over this way, as far as I can tell, just from a glance. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if you know adding all these pathways will add to our star ranking at all. I'm not quite sure, but it is really nice to see this kind of stuff, you know? Yeah, right now my goal is just to make the, you know, like what, like I've said before, there's sort of the commerce, residential, not, well this is not the residential area, but the commerce area. I want this area to look as pretty as possible for right now, make it like a proper town center, have connecting pathways, have nice flowers, all that kind of thing. Is exactly what I'm going for. There we go. Also start filling some of this up. <laughs> Maybe I should focus on one path at a time though. It might be a little bit easier for me for not constantly missing tiles. We're just gonna lead this right over to the museum. And that'll sort of be like another connected path. That way everything has sort of a flow to it. Everything feels synchronized and connected and like a proper effort was put into it. Cause right now it's just sort of like, this building is here because I just sort of put it there and that's it, you know? That's not the best when it comes to, you know, looking at this area and it's like, this place has a purpose. You know what I mean? So that's sort of what our town, our goal for the town is right now, is to make everything feel purposeful and clean and appealing in that way. And I think that definitely even just simple pathways will really touch that up. So really happy about that. So what I'm curious about now is, can I, no, I can't. All right then, what about here? So that area is sort of off limits in that way. That's fine. I think that still adds up quite nicely. So this is gonna be like that, no. Oh boy. And this should be three wide, but you can see I could have made it, this is where it's like I'm tempted to maybe, you know, pay the 50,000 bells just to move this over a little bit so that it fits in. But this is where I can actually figure that out now. It's like, okay, how exactly do I need everything to be? And that's just a good thing to figure out. There we go. Got it. I feel like another thing too that I need to do is just sort of can make some convenient little things. You know, a couple of benches every, every, you know, every here and there. Maybe a couple of water fountains. That'd be nice. Uh, but I feel like this is sort of the first part to that. I need to be able to figure out the pathways, or it'll be hard to sort of synchronize where everything else is supposed to go. So I think this is definitely a good first step for us. But yeah, I would definitely love to see. Um, how you guys are using pathways in your towns. Feel free to let me know all about that. Uh, but for right now, I'm just gonna fill that out like that. Go ahead and do the same thing over this way now. Yeah, this is something I've been really looking forward to, honestly. It seems a little mundane, you know, a little monotonous just to be putting down pathway after pathway. But I honestly, I've been really looking forward to this because to me it's so satisfying just being able to finally do this after waiting to do it. And also just, I don't know, just like a satisfying little animation. There's like a little brush stroke on the ground and boom, you got a tile. And it looks good. Like I said, it just, it adds sort of sensicality to our town. I don't think sensicality is actually a word, but it is now. Okay, pull in there. And two more. I really do hope that this at the least adds to some Nook Miles, if not even more. I think that I missed one here. There we go. I might want to move this tree. Let's talk to Kyle though, because he seems to be looking at me. Uh, what's good? What's the good word? Uh, is it alpha? <laughs> sure. Um, looks cranny really adds something to the hip and up and coming vibe we've got going on in this island. It's got a wide variety, uh, wide array of products. Plus, Timmy and Tommy are like the entrepreneurial dream team. It's no wonder the shop is on everyone's must-see list. I guess so. Um, so yeah, that's cool. We are going to get our axe out and chop down this tree. 
There we go. Very nice. So, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and grab some of this now. And we are going to get right back to the... Do I just... Can I just put this down and will it pull up? No, it won't. Okay. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But after we get the pathway to Nook's Cranny figured out, I think I'm going to just go and... It's like, that's sort of where I want to change things a little bit. Hmm. But right now, I'm just going to do it like this. But I do think I will change that at some point. I think I want to move those bushes out of the way in front of it, too. Because they, they just don't really fit very well, the way that they are. Um, I cannot see. <laughs> I don't want to move the tree, because Kyle's enjoying it. Okay, that should be good. I do one more. That should be fine. So I'm just trying to get the uh, outside of it for now. No, 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 no. There we go. Will it work if there's a bush in the way? It won't. All right, well, I'll just stop it here for now then. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I'll stop it here, we'll work on this. This is all a big work in progress. It's gonna take time, it's gonna take a lot of effort, but I think it's gonna be totally worth it. But I definitely plan on moving Nook's Cranny sooner or later. I think that'll help. Even if it is just a little bit over a couple of spaces, um, I think that'll help fit everything together very nicely. But I would like to line this entire pathway with all sorts of different flowers at some point. Maybe I should take that opportunity while Leaf is here, but I don't know if I'll have enough time. There'll be other chances for Leaf to show up and we can do things with that. There we go. And yeah, that's sorta of kinda of good enough for now. I do want to, not that. Um, I wanna round these edges a little bit, just like that. Yeah, that's looking really nice. I like it. Will that show up on the map, I wonder? It does. Oh, that's cool. I'm missing a corner. Oh, yeah, that's right, because Pashmina was sitting here. That's not what I wanted. Um, hey! <laughs> okay, she's chasing the buck. I thought she was trying to run over to stand, stand in the way again. I was like, what are you doing? There we go. So that's actually not too bad. We definitely need to line this area with, you know, flowers and fencing and stuff to make it look real nice, but so far, not bad. I'm happy with it for sure. Um, so yeah, let's start work, working with the other construction things. Of course, there's different types of tiles we could be putting down, but on top of that, we got the waterscaping permit. And with this, we get a fancy shovel, and what we could do with this is we could just dig something up, boom, water's there now. Isn't that cool? We can jump over it too, fancy. Um, so if I just wanted this to be a little bit more of a waterfront property, I'm going to be stuck, by the way. Uh, <laughs> gotta be careful. Well, I got a, I got a pole vault. I'm fine. Um, I don't know if this is that's what I should be doing, but <laughs> it's fancy, isn't it? Um, there we go. Wow. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to keep it that way, but for right now, I'm indecisive, so I might as well. Whoop. There we go. So, let's see what our Nook Miles were there, because that was like a long-term Nook Miles we just got done. Island Designer. Um, at Nook Incorporated, we encourage the use of Island Designer, designer so I guess that's for the water um, scaping. But also, very excitingly, we're not quite done. We can also do another thing with uh, cliff construction. And with this, we can dig cliffs up. We can also build them like that. How cool is that? I don't know if you can build them any higher than they already are, though. That's why I'm a little curious about that. So we're going to go over... To to this, climb up, and actually, see what our Nook Miles were. I think it's gonna be the same thing again, yep. So we got all three of these done. Fancy, a thousand extra miles right there. Very cool. But I'm very curious. Not only could we make our entire island flat, but could we make it even taller than it currently is? How tall can you make the island? Can you make it like a skyscraper? Whoa, you can make it taller. Let's do that in a couple of spots and see if I can't build those up even higher than that. I don't know. Can we just make, it's dangerous to climb any higher? Oh no. So you can't, you can't get that. Interesting. Huh. Good to know. So I don't want these here because what if something like, you know, spawns in up there and I can't get it. Fancy that, What what is the point of that? if you can't get up there. I definitely, maybe now is a good time to also take the opportunity to grab all this stuff. 
I'll probably pump most of it into my storage. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun today, figuring out the construction stuff. We have lots of work to go with that, and I'll be chipping away to each episode, I hope until we're happier and happier with our town. Um, that'll be a lot of fun. Of course, like I said, there's a lot of things like moving buildings that we have to start worrying about, but for that, I might just sort of, you know, put that on hold because it costs a lot of money to move the buildings, 50,000 for each movement. So I'll just try to like lay everything out in a way that I think is gonna be the best for now and try to improve it all later. Uh, but for right now, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>